Sarah Weekly, and I am the Children's Church Director at the River Family Christian Center in Waterford, Ohio. And I'm going to be coming on here and doing some videos for your kids as um, we are unable to meet in person right now. This will be a fun, interactive way for them to still get the Word of Christ. So, if you can notice behind me, we are in somewhat of a construction zone. We have a ladder. And while we are out, I am going to be working on transforming our classroom. So the next step will be to paint the classroom. And if you all would ask your parents to comment below what color you think I am going to paint this classroom. And then you can check back in tomorrow and see if you were right. As we are working on construction here in the church, the Lord is also at work. On Sunday, we talked about the scripture Romans 8.28. And it says, And we know that all things work together for the good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. And again, that's Romans 8.28. And it is important for all of you to know, all of you kids to know that you are the called that God has called you for a purpose and that even in this time when things are kind of crazy and people talking about viruses and sicknesses and you're stuck at home, that God is still working. He is always working for your good. And that brings us to a new scripture I wanna talk about today. And as I'm talking about the scripture, I am going to be working with some Play-Doh. Now I have this pretty pink Play-Doh here and gray and some green. And I think today I'm gonna to start off with the pink Play-Doh. I'm just gonna get it out here and work with it. Because the thing about it is, guys, we start off as babies, as you know, and we continue to grow. And that's the same thing with our walk with Jesus. When you become a Christian and you accept Jesus into your heart, you're a baby Christian. And the more you know, and the stronger your relationship with, gets with God, and the more you talk to Him, and the more you're with Him, the more you mold, are molded into His image. And the older and more mature of a Christian you become. So, in Philippians 1.6, it says, He who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the days of Jesus Christ. Which means that just like God is working right now, in Ohio and he's working in West Virginia and he's working through all out the United States of America, he is also working and molding you, just like I'm working and molding this Play-Doh. And sometimes when God is working on us, it can get kind of, I don't know, change can be kind of scary sometimes. But we don't have to worry about anything because Romans tells us that he's always working everything for our good, right? So just like right now, I'm gently rolling the Play-Doh around and making a ball. It's not that big of a deal, right? It's just a small thing, a small change in the Play-Doh. Well, sometimes that's how God works with us and we can hardly even notice that we're changing. But the more God works with us and the more we pray and the more we read our Bibles and the more we talk with Him, the more He's able to mold us into something. So I'm gonna take this, I'm rolling them into little balls and I take my thumb press it, and I press it, and it doesn't really matter what kind of shape it is, I'm just kind of flattening it out. And then I take this one, and I roll it, and I roll it, there we go. And sometimes, God puts us in situations that we're not used to, and that can be kind of scary, but we have to remember that he's always with us, and he's always working everything for our good. So that down. I'm going to work on this next one that I have and I'm going to press it. I'm going to squeeze it. Ah. Sometimes oh, it might be scary, but we know God's with us, so we don't have anything to fear. So I'm going to take that and wrap around here. And we're just going to keep doing this and we're just going to keep working with this Play-Doh. Do you guys like to work with Play-Doh? I know I absolutely love Play-Doh. But you know what I don't love? I do not love Play-Doh in my carpet. So if you try what I'm doing at home, make sure that you ask your parents first and make sure that you do not play with the Play-Doh in the carpet because that is not fun to get out. So 
we all, like we said, we are a called out people and we're called out for God's purpose. So we all have a job, we all have assignment, and it doesn't matter how old we are. We all have something that God wants us to do. And right now, when everything's so crazy and we're stuck at home and we're not able to go things and you might be getting bored or your brother and your sister might be getting on your nerves, you still have a job, you still have an assignment. God's still working on you and he still wants you to work. So, do you guys know what your assignment is and what you should be doing right now? What you should be doing right now is you should be praying. You should be praying every single day. And your prayers are, can be different, but you should be praying for a couple things specifically. You should be praying for our nation. You should be praying for each other. You should be praying for our president. You should be praying that this virus goes away so we can get back out and back into church. So you still have an assignment of things you want to do. And another assignment that you have while you're at home is obeying your mom and dad. The Bible says that we should always obey our moms and our dads. Or if you live with your grandma or your grandpa, you should be obeying them. So I'm almost done here. Almost done. We need to move it around just a little bit more. There we go. See? Squeeze it, pinch it off here at the bottom. There we go. And I am done with that part. Now I just need to go get some of my green here. Put that out. Oh, I'm almost done and then I'll show you guys what I made. Because it says in Philippians 1, 6, that God is working on us until the day that Jesus returns. So from the time you're born again and you have Jesus in your heart until the time Jesus comes back, God is always working on you, just like I've been working on this Play-Doh. All right, and I'm just, I did that ball again and I squished it again. So I'm gonna put it right here. There we go. I'm gonna do one more. Let's see, here we go, almost done. One more here. And God continually works with us and he continually improves us. He continually molds us into his image until the day when Jesus returns, we are a beautiful flower in full bloom, and we are exactly who he created us to be in full glory. And when he comes, we get to go with him and we get to spend eternity with him. So remember guys, even though you're home and you're stuck at home and you're probably tired of being at home, remember that we don't have anything to fear because God is working in our nation. He's working across the world and he's working everything for our good according to Romans 8:28, and he's also working on you. So continue to press in, continue to pray, continue to sing God's praises, continue to mind your mom and dad and be nice to your brothers and sisters. And this will all be over soon and we will have grown and maybe gotten one more petal added onto our flower. So let's go ahead and we'll close out with a prayer. Lord, we just thank you for always being with us. We thank you, Father, that you are always working everything for the good of those who serve you. And we thank you, Lord, that even though sometimes it may not be the thing we like the most in the world, that we thank you that you are stretching us and you're molding us into your image. And we just give you all the praise and the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. See you guys later.